Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I've done a haul video, so I wanted to come on and show you some goodies that I managed to pick up um, recently. I have really kind of avoided um, all car boot sales and what have you, I think pretty much this whole summer really. But partly because I'm just overrun with things and, you know, the family obviously moan when I suggest going to the car boot sale and things. And they tend to be on a Sunday here, so that's obviously a family day, so it's sometimes a bit tricky getting to go. Uh, but I did manage to go the other day. So I wanted to come on and share with you some of the really lovely finds that I got. I'm going to save this little batch for last because that's my favourite stuff. So I'll just show you through some of the things that I managed to get. So got this super cute book, The Jolly Snowman. Isn't this gorgeous? And as you can see by the images, I mean, they're just really tiny. So perfect for a, an altered book or something like that. So picked up that really cute then I got this um I have to say actually I bought this with the newspaper it was kind of a bundle that they just did a price on they'd wrapped it in cellophane so I actually had inquired about the newspaper because I thought the coloring was beautiful um and they just said oh you know 150 or whatever it was for the whole bundle so then in the bundle included was the um this Rupert book I have got a Rupert book actually upstairs and um, I haven't ever actually used it. So it may be time to use this. And as you can see, we've got a mixture of kind of big pictures and small ones. Um, so there was that included. Look at this gorgeous newspaper. Now this is dated 1914. So, you know, over a hundred years old, but to me that just still, I find that incredible that things have lasted. For that length of time it's just so gorgeous I mean obviously I had bought it to tear up and you know maybe do collage or you know layering and things like that I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to bring myself to do that now because um yeah it just feels like such a treasure but I just absolutely love it the coloring of it is just beautiful it's just oh absolutely lovely and obviously inside you've got beautiful ads and things like that so I might be able to do some things um, with some of those things too so I can't obviously unfold it and show you because being um, you know the times it's a massive massive paper and so I would struggle to fit it in but anyway I managed to get that in the bundle with the other things then I managed to get this gorgeous album full of these old photos now obviously some of these are better than others I mean there's this one which actually it's not even particularly clear um, but there's some that are just beautiful beautiful pictures so I mean look at this one for instance of this old lady I just love it um, we've got this one of these children which I think is just gorgeous this one here of this beautiful street now some of these actually they've written on the back but some of them or most of them they haven't so ah, they have on here uh, the old village I think that says Shanklin in the Isle of Wight so isn't that lovely what a beautiful street so you know really lovely pictures in here and um, we've got this one here I always love them when they're oh, I'm going to struggle to now get this out uh, I'm not going to get it out I'm sure you can see I mean obviously this is upside down now but can you see that that's on the thick card, um, how they often mounted photos in, you know, days gone by? I just love them like that. They're just beautiful, aren't they? So, um, yeah, lots of really nice pictures and things. And again, the chap who was selling this, I actually bought, you know, these lovely things that I'm going to show you in a minute. So he did a um, bulk price for all of it. I have to say it was quite expensive for the whole lot, but... I just thought it was just so lovely I couldn't really pass it up so um, I mean like this picture here beautiful isn't it so lots of pictures I mean obviously the album's not completely full but it's about half full so um, yeah a really good selection um, and I have scanned some in this one is not particularly clear but it's a really old picture so hopefully you can see that um, and I am working on making a massive kind of physical and digital kit um, 
well I say that it's going to be a physical kit mainly and then it's going to have an offshoot for because obviously there's only so many of the physical ones that I can do so at the moment I'm thinking eight um, so there will be eight physical kits and then um, to accompany that excuse me I've got a sneeze coming <coughs> excuse me um, to accompany that then I'm going to do a very small digi kit you know very small it's just going to have five background pages I think and just some fussy cuts um, but for those people who like the it's just so that those people who like the colors and things like that in the physical kits but don't manage to get one of the eight then you could obviously at least purchase the um, small digi kit so yeah I got this gorgeous album full of the photos so love that then I got this lovely box, which I mean, I just even love the box. And it's full of all those cigarette cards, which I mean, some again are, you know, to me, nicer than others. And I say to me, because I know that, um, you know, lots of people obviously do use other things. I mean, there's this one, which I assume this is a space kind of um, theme set, you know, that it came from. So there's a few in there. Now, I probably wouldn't use that. But having said that, I did recently watch a video from, I think it was Joanna Clough, uh, Johanna, her name is, uh, Johanna Clough. Um, and um, she was using space themed pieces in her journal and it looked incredible. So, you know, although they're not necessarily my cup of tea, they may be some people's. So, you know, don't write things off if you get a batch of things. I'm sure that some people would love them. So, you know, different strokes for different folks and all of that. So I've got all different ones here. And obviously, as I say, you know, some aren't for me, but some, some are lovely. I mean, look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? So those are those. Now, the only thing is these were very smelly, I have to say. So um, I'm working on trying to get the smells out at the moment. So I will let you know how I get on with that. Um, experiment over there to the side and I will keep you posted as to progress. So my favourite pieces that I actually managed to get. So look at this beautiful, it's kind of stapled together almost like a little booklet of little postcards and they're all of the most gorgeous images of the Palace of Versailles. Oh, I mean just incredible. Now I haven't been in the Palace of Versailles but we were lucky enough last year on our road trip to go to Versailles, we um, spent time, we had a picnic and things in the grounds, you know, in the gardens, um, and we biked around because you can bike around not actually within the formal gardens, but in the kind of overflow gardens, and that's all free to go and bike around those. Again, not free in the formal gardens, but in the sort of overflow on like the edge, the surrounding kind of pieces. And that palace is massive, absolutely massive. Um, so this I just absolutely love because, you know, I love my architecture and things and being able to see, you know, some of these things that we did actually bike past and see whilst we were there. But also as well, I mean, seeing some pictures of the inside, which obviously we didn't go inside the palace. That's just really lovely and I love the colouring as well. Isn't this a lovely colour? So as you can see one's been torn out that was how I bought it so you know obviously it is missing one um, but it's just lovely I love that. So that was one of the kind of favourites. <gasps> then I got this lovely letter. Now as you can see very 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 delicate um, condition. It's quite torn, quite damaged um, but this is dated I think that says 1824 so you know it's oh night 1834 sorry 1834 so you know it's well entitled to be damaged isn't it to have lasted that length of time so yeah got this gorgeous gorgeous letter now I haven't done anything with this yet because depending on how well my um, physical kits go down I may do some more so you know I'm going to hopefully try and be able to share this with some of you guys um, in the form of uh, like reproduced copies of these things. So then we've got this one again. I mean, I love this scripty writing, don't you? And look at that gorgeous header. 
I hope that the camera's picking this up. I just love it. It's really beautiful. And I think that one says 1836. So again, absolutely gorgeous, but very, very delicate. So that one there. Then I got a couple of envelope pieces, which again, I mean, I just love all the kind of envelopes and things. This one's actually got a little letter in it, which again, you know, how awesome to actually have some, some letters and things. Oh, look, and it's got a receipt in there, which I hadn't even noticed. This dated 1941, but again, isn't that just beautiful? Has it got two? Oh, it's got another one, look. So, yeah, I mean, just absolutely lovely. And as I say, I mean, I managed to get all of this um, from one chap. As I say, I mean, I did have to pay quite a bit for it, but... I just thought it was the most lovely things. So I got this, which is just an envelope piece, but look at how delicate that is. I mean, it's just beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it's very smudgy. So I assume this has been, um, you know, maybe got wet at some point, but oh, it's just beautiful. I know I can't see a date on there, but that might just be me. Oh, there we go. 8th of the 8th, 46, but just lovely. Then I got this one, which again, you know, this is very, very delicate and, you know, very, um, you know, precious at the, the edges there. So just got to be very careful how I handle that. But again, another lovely one. And then I got another couple of photographs. These were sold separately to the album. And again, they're on that, that board that they did them on. I just love these. They're just really awesome, aren't they? I mean, I love how they feel. So, I mean, again, you know, I haven't actually done anything with these particular bits. Um, I just took one or two pieces from the collection that I bought from that chap and have tried to make a kind of physical um, kit in order to be able to share some of the, uh, you know, really nice treasures and things that I got with you guys. Um, yeah, in a in a sort of nice nice format so these were a couple of the pieces that I have used I find them not these well these were another couple of envelopes that I got actually so I'll just quickly share those with you um, so there are another couple of envelopes they're just all empty um, then I did get this gorgeous one which this is on quite thick paper um, so I have tried to reproduce this on quite thick paper. Uh, it's come out quite a bit darker than the original and I have coffee dyed it to make it seem very aged, but it's working really nicely and it looks really good. And I've tried to fold it in the same manner that this was folded in. So that's kind of one of the pieces that I'm going to share in my physical kits. And then I've just scanned in these photographs. I mean, look at these ones aren't they gorgeous and again they're on that stiff board um so I've tried to share those uh with you guys and then just this letter which I scanned in again um and I can't remember whether I've actually included this in the kit or not that I'm still in the process of putting together so you know as yet it's kind of unfinished but I really wanted to be able to share some of my lovely goodies with you and as I say I mean trying to kind of see how they go down and if they go down quite nicely I mean, it is taking quite a time to put the kits together and sort things and things like that. But I mean, hopefully there'll be something that I could do again, you know, if they seem to be well received and people like them. So, yeah, I hope that you like my goodies. I felt really lucky to have, um, you know, come across such a lovely array of things. And um, yeah, I will be back soon. So I hope that you all have a fab day and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.